we're on location today with uh, Johan at La Pentola Restaurant in Hermanus, and we're going to be preparing a really exciting new recipe, which is from my book Cap Fusion, and this one's called the Orchestra Fillet. And it's finally named after the wine we've chosen to pair with this fillet, which is the Mentor's Orchestra. Johan, you want to tell us a little bit about this orchestra? Yes, uh, sure. The Mentor's um, Orchestra is one of our flagship wines. It's a five-way um, Bordeaux blend, which we um, blended together five components. Um, what we do here is that each of the components will look um, at them individually and identify the unique characteristics of each of them and then start to work the blend to capture the essence of all of those. Variety. So what exactly is in the Bordeaux blend? It's, uh, in this case it can be in different orders. Uh, in this specific vintage we've got Cabernet Sauvignon, Cab Franc, Merlot, Petit Verdot and Malbec. So each of those um, grape varietals will go through a seven step selection process in the cellar. So it's quite intense, but that's what it takes to produce the goods at this site. Because this is absolute premium level. Absolutely, yeah. So expect much more depth, more concentration, but still true to our, our style, that purity of fruit and those polished tannins. But yeah, we'll, we'll have a look well, at let's, it. Let's give it a taste. There you go. Thank you. Oh, the bouquet on this wine is just absolutely exceptional. I mean, it is just so much fruit More up power. front and, 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 and powerful flavors just bouncing right onto the nose. But as you can taste, there's quite a bit of tannins there, a little bit of a firm tannin, so it needs something to accomplish mm. it. So. But the tannins also are going to help with the aging process. It's going to keep the, the wine vibrant and young for longer. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. And in fact, we're so, so serious about um, this wine and quality that we also lock it down in a screw cap. So as, when it comes to this, there's no compromise as far as, as quality goes. How do you feel about that whole screw cap issue? I mean, it's a bit of a political issue for quite a few people. It is, it is a debate and we can spend the entire afternoon on that. But for us, it's, it's quite simple. Like I said, if, when it comes to quality, screw cap for us is the way to go. And that's what was the yeah. driver for the decision. Who, who, would, who would want to waste one single drop of this beautiful wine? Yeah, I mean, 18 months of work. Um, so you need to be sure it's, it's, it's bottled be, in yeah, the it's correct condition. Safe, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start taking you through the steps to make this orchestra fillet. First thing we need to do to prepare is we're going to make a light cranberry, rosemary and black pepper syrup. For that I'm going to be using brown sugar, I'm going to be using dried cranberries, I'm going to be using a little bit of mixed peppercorns, um, some fresh rosemary and I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, Cape Ruby um, port. Okay. The reason I do that port is because in South Africa, we're no longer allowed to call a port style product a port. Yeah, absolutely. The same goes for, for sherry. So in this case, we would refer to our port style wines as Cape. And our, yeah, our Cape Ruby is the Cadaver V, is the Cape Ruby. Yeah, Fantastic. Put the Ruby into a hot pot. And to this, I'm going to add brown sugar. I'm going to give it a light stir, not too much, otherwise the sugar is going to crystallize and as soon as this become, comes to the boil I'm going to add the black pepper and the rosemary obviously when, you, when your, your liquid is nice and hot it draws those flavors in immediately so I wouldn't want to leave it to sit rather wait for it to boil nice big healthy pinch of the mixed peppercorns I'm going to crush this rosemary just a little bit so we get maximum flavor out and now time for the cranberries. I'm going to put the lid on this and just allow that to reduce by about half so we have a nice light clear syrup. While that's on the boil, I'll take my pan. To that I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, peppercorns for flavor. I've got some lovely tender fillet steaks here which I've lightly rubbed with a bit of paprika, a little bit of uh, olive oil and just let that flavor draw in. I don't believe in basting steaks. Basting sauces for steak houses, it's for guys that don't appreciate the true flavor of beef, in my opinion. So, a little bit of paprika on there. The paprika flavor draws in beautifully, and paprika is also very rich in vitamin C, so it's healthy for you. Place the fillets down in the pan. Well, it's a pretty one can't capture that smell coming out of it. Incredible. Insane, yeah. And I think the rosemary for me was the trick 
when I was working on the pairing with the orchestra, just to pick up a bit on the mint, because you know the same that rosemary like that, you have that same effect from your mint in the wine. Yep. So, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying that. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to this. When you're cooking with butter and olive oil, I wouldn't be able to just fry it in the plain butter on its own because the butter would bu would burn. So we add the olive oil just to uh, help the butter from burning in the frying process. Obviously that butter, all that lovely juicy butter, sweet buttery flavors drawing into the fillet whilst cooking here. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Looking forward to it. Now flip these steaks over. If you look at the syrup now, it's just starting to thicken beautifully. And you see how the cranberries have managed to absorb a lot of that delicious, sweet Cape Ruby. For a little bit of a twist to this one, if you like adding a little bit of um, sl slightly more heavily wooded flavor to your meat, I'd suggest you take a little bit of KWV five-year-old and then just add this to the pan. Be careful with this one. I've got some eyebrows left. Ah. Our syrup is just about ready now. Don't try tasting this while it's hot. You might leave a little bit of your tongue on the spoon. At this point, our fillet should be about medium, medium rare. What we're going to do is we're going to take some lovely smoked springbok, place this carefully over the fillet steak. What I really love about smoked springbok is it's truly a South African product and has such a unique flavor. Even just in a salad, a little bit of strawberries, some balsamic cream, absolutely delicious. Here I've got a few slices of Philadelphia cream cheese. So I'm just going to pop over and I put that down. And now's the time to put the lid back on just so these flavors can all fuse and steam together. As you'll be able to see right now, our springbok has got a, a changed color slightly. It's wrapped itself around the fillet beautifully and our, our cheese is just starting to melt, just nice and soft. So we're going to plate this up for you home to try with this wine. Now to put on this beautiful, delicious cranberry syrup, try to leave the leftover pieces of rosemary in the pot or just take them out. After you've made this dish, you can always keep the cranberries aside, leave them to have with a cheese platter. What I love about this is the beautiful vibrance that it brings to your plate. Take a little sprig of rosemary just for a bit of garnish, bring a bit of green back to this plate. Voila, Johan, let's see if That's my amazing. orchestra plays with yours, eh? <laughs> Hmm. How good is that? Thank you. Amazing. You'll see that the, the smoke picks up a little bit on your wine. The, the cranberries, I think they add their own special touch of, of, of fruitiness, but at the same time also give you a bit of texture to, to the combination. And then that cream cheese just sort of, you know, smoothing it out a little bit. Springbok really plays its role, even though it's such a thin just, piece. Yeah. You'll notice that I didn't season the fillet with any salt. And the reason for that is because the springbok is actually quite salty on its own. But each to taste. Well, coincidence that we've got five main ingredients in there and five main ingredients in there. All of these recipes are available in my new book, Cape Fusion. Cape Fusion is going to be for sale at Exclusive Books Countrywide, Jacana Media, La Pensula Hermanis and Pretoria, and of course, Celador at the KWV in Paul. Thank you for joining me on this culinary journey. From me, Shane Sauvage, and my good friend, Johan Ferry, the winemaker, thanks for joining us. Ciao for now.